I actually started playing golf on the back of watching Nick Faldo win his first Masters back in 1989, actually. So me and my dad stood up to watch him until the early hours, beating Scott Hoke in a playoff. Um, I think just watching an Englishman win the Masters and put on that green jacket was pretty inspirational, and that's really what got me hooked. Uh, I'd have to say take lessons. I think a lot of amateurs start and they enjoy hitting a golf ball in the driving range. They yeah, soon realise it gets quite frustrating by hitting balls, but not consistently. So uh, for me, I was advised to take lessons quite early, build some fundamentals in, and the enjoyment really picks up because you're hitting more consistent. So definitely lessons would be the answer for me. Uh, quicker formats. I think time is an issue when you're playing now. Everyone's got a lot of uh, onus on their, their leisure time. So I think that if we can come up with some quicker formats, it doesn't take quite as long. That would be a, a good way forward. Uh, learn how far you hit each club. We, we tend to play a lot of pro rounds with amateurs who come up short pretty much every time. Um, they think they hit the ball further than they do, so uh, we do a lot of gap testing here with our, our members to make sure they know how far they hit their golf shots, so that would be definitely a good bit of advice. Uh, I have to go for two, Nick Faldo, because he was the reason I started playing golf, and latterly Tiger Woods, best golfer that's ever played the game.